It's been more than three months since tragedy hit Uvalde, and in the days after the shooting, the community was greeted by the Lutheran Church Charities Canine Comfort Dog Mystery or Ministry, excuse me, who lent their support to that community. And as families are preparing to send their kids back to school this week, the organization is also preparing to go back to the community to help keep Uvalde strong and support them there. And crisis response coordinator Bonnie Fear is joining us now, along with Devorah and Cubby, some of the comfort dogs. And I, we, we've been Bonnie and I have been chatting the last minute or so, and, and those two are just making me smile this morning. Hi, Bonnie. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. And while we're talking about smiles, you, you know, it's such a the wake of the, the, the tragedy at Robb Elementary. They, they, the, those sweet pups did bring some smiles and comfort to the community. Yes, um, just by showing up with dogs, um, whatever the emotions are that the kids or the parents or staff are having or community, they see these golden retrievers and we see smiles, we see tears, just um, whatever emotions, um, they have, we want these dogs to bring out, and that's their purpose. And Bonnie, talk about uh, your organization, because you have individuals coming from all over the country, here to Texas, here to Uvalde, so, to support this community. Yes, we are a national organization. We have 130 golden retrievers in 27 states, and we, are, we have been invited back to the first three weeks of school, so we will have 30 dogs from 11 states. Wow. And we are just um, very pleased to be invited back because the first time we were there right after the the shooting and we were hoping to be invited back when we were. So we, we know what our job is and we're just going to be there for them. And Bonnie, let's, let's take another look at Devorah and Cubby. I know Cubby was getting a little sleepy earlier, but, you know, talk about really the impact and, and how these dogs are able to provide that calm and comfort to, to uh, people, you know, experience such tragedy, such heartbreak? A lot of times when we go to a crisis right after, people are in shock and they really don't want to talk. Um, so the dogs are perfect to, to show up because they're not judgmental, they're good listeners and people hug them. They give them a big old hug or they cry or just lay on them. The kids like to pet their ears and it's just that quiet presence that these dogs have that we don't have. Wow. And, and, and I can say, Bonnie, to, uh, you know, covering the tragedy there, the dogs provided comfort to us as well. And we're, we're so happy that you were there. And, and now you're going back to support the community. How long will you be staying in Uvalde as, as those kids go back to school? Usually an exciting time of year for them. We will be there for three weeks. So we're going to have three what we call waves of 10 dogs for each um, of the three weeks for school. And Cubby and Devorah will be the first week. So it'll be September 6th, right after Labor Day. They're gonna be heading out tomorrow morning, um, driving for two days to get there. And then we'll be there for three weeks, um, just bringing that comfort to the schools, all the schools in Uvalde we're gonna be present at. And Bonnie, how can we find you if, if someone, you know, someone in the community wants, just needs a little extra support and needs a hug, how can we find you in Uvalde? Uh, we will be, our focus is to be at the schools. So, and possibly at the, if the memorial site is still there at uh, the park, the Fountain Park, um, we will be there. But mainly our focus is to be where the kids need us at the schools. And you will be so needed along with Devorah and Cubby must have, must have gone to sleep. Oh no, he's, she's still awake. <laughs> you said Devorah is three and Cubby is eight. So uh, she, she's a little bit more camera ready this morning. Devorah is getting yeah. ready to, to run. But, uh, you know, we appreciate you coming back out there. And I know that community is, is looking forward to, especially the kiddos, uh, getting ready to go to school and those families appreciate you all being there. Before we go, uh, Bonnie, we have just a little bit of time. Tell us, our viewers, how we can learn more about your uh, organization and if someone wants to reach out and help. So each dog has their own social media, um, Facebook and Instagram. So it's, it would be like Cubby Comfort Dog or Devorah Comfort Dog. Otherwise, it's LutheranChurchCharities.org. You can find everything about what our organization does nationally. And I can tell just from looking at you from afar, because you're in Denver this morning, uh, they, they, they bring so many smiles. So thank you, Bonnie, for joining us. And um, I know the community of Uvalde looks forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.